Hello, everyone. I'd like to thank you all for joining me today in this webinar on Axis Physiotherapy and also F.A. Davis Physical Therapy Collection and the F.A. Davis Athletic Training Collection. Can everybody hear me and see my screen? I'd like to thank you for joining this webinar today. When joining the presentation, everyone is muted, so please chat me your questions as we go, and a colleague of mine is standing by to address your questions. My name is Wesley Holloway. I'm a digital platform trainer and a health sciences librarian with the user services team at McGraw-Hill. In today's session, we will cover the variety of resources available to you in Axis Physiotherapy, as well as the F.A. Davis Physical Therapy Collection and F.A. Davis Athletic Training Collection, including textbooks, clinical quick reference items, multimedia, drug monographs, cases, and study tools for exam prep. Before we do so, we will start out with an overview of what the site is and also take a quick look at the My Access Profile sign-in, which is necessary for utilizing the full functionality of our sites and for unlocking all the features and content. And at the end of the session, we will take a look at the Access User Center, accessible under the Support drop-down tab by selecting User Resources. This site holds all of our user helps, guides, tutorials, content maps, and much more to help you effectively and meaningfully use and integrate the content into your collections. Access Physiotherapy, as well as F.A. Davis PT and AT collections, are comprehensive online resources with some of the leading physiotherapy textbooks, procedural and exercise videos, image galleries, self-assessment and quizzing, cadaver dissection, NPTE, prep, and more. Access Physiotherapy is devoted exclusively to the study, instruction, and practice of physical therapy with groundbreaking content for today's PTs. Access Physiotherapy includes Dutton's orthopedic examination, evaluation, and intervention, as well as the textbook Therapeutic Modalities in Rehabilitation. Access Physiotherapy is also a mobile optimized site for viewing on any mobile device. And toward the bottom of the homepage, you can read more about Access Physiotherapy and also the advisory board. This site is guided by a preeminent advisory board that includes Dr. Annie Burke Doe and Dr. Eric Seamus. Before we begin using the site, we need to first sign into our free My Access profile using the sign in feature in the upper right. It's quick and easy to create your free My Access profile. Once you have signed into the site, you will see your name and your institutional affiliation beside your name. With a free My Access profile, you will have greater accessibility to all of the resources, functions, and tools available to you in using Access Physiotherapy. You'll want to be sure to log in at least once every 90 days to keep your account active and affiliated with your institution. With a My Access profile, you can select content throughout the site anywhere you see the star icon, which will allow you to add any item from the site to your favorites here in your My Access profile. These favorites can also be organized into folders, for example, by class or research topic. For example, I have a folder on gait disorders as it relates to Parkinson's disease. Instructors can also add favorites to their My Access profile, organize into folders, and then export the folder as an IMSCC file, which will create links to all of the items in that folder to be used in a learning management system to take students directly from the LMS to the content here in Access Physiotherapy. We will discuss durable URLs a little later in this session. Also, you can view your recently viewed items in your My Access profile should you ever become inadvertently disconnected from the site, this is a great way to resume, to resume wherever you last were in the site, organized by date. Also, you can track your review questions. These are all the self-assessment quizzes that you have completed, including for cases and any review texts out of the site. These quizzes can be renamed. It will show you which site you have pulled the quiz from, for example, Case Files Collection, or Access Pharmacy or Access Physiotherapy, the date, the number of questions completed, and your score, as well as an option to retake the quiz. Users can also track on their case progress, including cases that have been opened or completed. Users can see the case title, the resource, the site, and the date accessed. And finally, with a My Access profile, users can manage their profile, 
including editing their password or personal information. And to the left, this option for My Alerts allows users to subscribe to daily, weekly, or monthly email alerts for any of the sites listed here, which is a great way to stay on top of any new resources that are added to or updated in the site. I'm going to navigate back now to Access Physiotherapy homepage, and I can use this McGraw-Hill Medical drop-down menu in the upper left. Along the top of the Access Physiotherapy homepage, you will notice the search layer. This allows you to find a variety of resources on any topic in Access Physiotherapy. For example, gait biomechanics. You'll notice as I type, the auto-suggest appears to help guide my search. I can search my topic by default in Access Physiotherapy, or using the drop-down menu to the left of the search layer, I can also select all sites, which will run a federated search and produce a greater number of results on my topic from across Access Physiotherapy, as well as all of the other Access Medical sites. It is a way of broadening your search to produce more results. On the search results page, my search terms are highlighted in yellow, and out to the right of each item, the star icon will indicate I can add this item to my favorites in my Access profile. And here I see the different folders to which I can add this item. Anywhere the star icon can be seen in the site indicates you can add that item to your favorites in your My Access profile. To the left of the search results, we can refine our search, including by adding in additional search terms by keyword, title, author, or ISBN, we can also filter our results by format type, which will vary depending on our search. We can also filter by the set of textbooks that are being yielded in this set of results, or by topics, which is a great way to further narrow your search. Under the Books tab, all of our book resources are organized into these categories in the table to the left for ease of access. Also, with this Tools drop-down menu, users can view an exportable list of resources this is our title list in an Excel format, which can be useful for librarians. We also have a page with all of our archived textbooks, so any previous edition will go to live in this portion of the site. It is important to point out that all textbooks, as well as all chapters and chapter sections, are durable URL enabled. An instructor, for example, could copy the URL on any textbook, chapter, or chapter section and embed that URL into a learning management system to take students directly from their LMS to that specific content here in Access Physiotherapy. These durable URLs make it easy for instructors to integrate our resources into their courses. The book's library in Access Physiotherapy features more than 50 core titles, including Dutton's Orthopedic Examination, Evaluation, and Intervention, and now in its fifth edition. On the textbook homepage, Users can once again search their topic just for results out of this textbook. Users can also use the plus minus signs to expand the different sections or use the show hide features along the top. And to the right of many of our textbooks, you will notice highlighted features, including related multimedia and videos. Breadcrumbs along the top help the user to track their place in the site, as well as jump to previous or next chapters. The chapter taskbar enables the user to jump to specific sections, which are hyperlinked, again, durable URL enabled. Users can also download a chapter PDF, which includes the exact page numbers, making it, easy, making it easier to write your citations. Users can also share through email or social media, or also generate a citation in AMA, APA, or MLA styles, or use a reference management tool to generate a different style of need. The chapter is organized into the full chapter, which includes the complete text as well as any related figures and tables. However, for ease of access, we've also broken our figures and tables out into their own separate tabs. When signed into your My Access profile, users can view the full size of all figures and tables, including the option to print. They can also add to their favorites in their My Access profile, or download. Figures download as PowerPoint slides, and tables download as PDFs, each with their complete citations. In the full chapter, along the top of each section, you'll notice the Listen icon. This is our text-to-speech tool called ReadSpeaker, 
which is great for auditory learning and to make our sites more accessible to more users. You can see the Read Speaker tool is reading in green the sentence level and the word highlighted in blue. Using the settings tool, these Read Speaker can be adjusted to the specific user, including text highlighting, highlighting options, word, sentence, and text colors, enhanced text visibility, reading speed, and automatic scrolling. The help icons also provide further description for what each item does. And for users who need to make any kind of annotations or notes in their textbook, watch as I highlight a portion of the text and select this word annotate. It brings out the hypothesis sidebar from the right side of the screen. Hypothesis is a free but separate sign up in Access Physiotherapy and across the Access Medical Collections. However, you can use the same login as your My Access profile. It shows me the portion of text that I wish to make an annotation for, and then my text pane to enter my notes. I can also insert a link. I can set my post public or private. And with Hypothesis, users can also create private groups to share their notes with. This is also useful for instructors who wish to assign this particular text and have students in a private group engage in discussion sharing their notes on the assigned reading. Back in the books library, a couple of other textbooks to point out include our Ethics in Physical Therapy textbook. This text, Ethics in Physical Therapy, a case-based approach, was recently added to the platform. There are two parts to this book. Part one provides more didactic, foundational material, while part two strives to apply ethical decision-making tools to relevant cases in physical therapy practice. The two parts are meant to be used together, but they also can be used as standalone, providing basic conceptual material about ethics and ethical decision-making in physical therapy practice, with the second section primarily focusing on case analysis. Also in the books library, Using the table to the left, we can navigate to this Patient Interviewing Documentation tab. This textbook, Effective Documentation for Physical Therapy Professionals, covers many of the legal issues in the medical record, with specifics such as home health and pediatric documentation, and also has writing exercises. The Quick Reference tab in Access Physiotherapy provides clinical information to facilitate an accurate, quick diagnosis and quick lookup in the clinical setting, including this Quick Answers Physiotherapy textbook. This text offers concise outlines of common conditions and disorders, whether used as a high yield review for studying or for quick reference in the clinical setting. It is searchable and also organized alphabetically. Quick Answers is a great point of care tool that provides bulleted information about a variety of conditions and includes diagnosis and treatment information. The information in this text will assist the reader in understanding various diagnoses and also provide guidance in the issues associated with them. Each diagnosis follows a similar format for ease of use across the text. Functional goals and impairments are identified to help strengthen documentation and communication with other healthcare professionals. And you'll notice this text is organized in the bulleted format throughout to really facilitate a quick lookup in the clinical care setting. Also under quick reference, the Outcome Measures Toolbox helps users to gain access to vital tables and figures by these different topic areas identified in the table to the left. This resource compiles all measures, including tools, scales, and tests that are used in patient interactions from across the Access Physiotherapy resources so that clinicians can access all of these in one place in this Outcome Measures Toolbox, rather than scouring multiple textbooks and resources across the site to locate what they need. The Drugs tab in Access Physiotherapy is the integrated drug database with thousands of drugs organized by generics, trade names, and drug classes in the table on the left. Users can also browse for drugs alphabetically or search. Auto-suggest appears again. Users can access detailed drug monograph data, including any special notices or warnings, medication safety alerts. Here we see images, US and international brand names. 
clinical pharmacology data, warnings and precautions, also dosing by population type, and U.S. pricing information is also available. These drug monographs are updated every two weeks. Users can also access a set of patient handouts available in English and in Spanish. These also are organized alphabetically, and they are written in very general terms to ensure that the patient will be aware of how to properly take their medications as well as any side effects that they may encounter. The multimedia in Access Physiotherapy offers users a variety of dynamic content, including videos, lectures, learning modules, anatomy tools, and more. Bruckner and Kahn's Clinical Sports Medicine Audio Discussion is a podcast you can also listen to on the go because the site is mobile optimized. These are engaging podcasts for physiotherapists and students with discussions on numerous topics in physiotherapy, which supplement Bruckner and Kahn's Clinical Sports Medicine, the leading title in sport and exercise medicine, which is also an authoritative and practical guide to physiotherapy and musculoskeletal medicine for clinicians and students. Also under multimedia, the Gross Anatomy Lectures provide users a student-friendly 10 to 15 minute lectures on different aspects and features of the anatomy. Also under multimedia, You'll notice our neurologic rehabilitation videos, and here you can see some of the different content, such as transferring and walking. We also provide our videos in other areas. These videos are all organized to the left in the table, including videos in examination and evaluation, interventions, and physiologic and specialty areas. Under multimedia, we also can view this anatomy and physiology revealed tool this is an interactive cadaver dissection experience that is designed to help you explore human anatomy using cadaver specimens and also master physiology concepts through these detailed animations with information and audio pronunciations to help build anatomical knowledge. This tool also includes comprehensive quizzing to reinforce learning. This cadaver dissection tool uses photos combined with a layering technique that allows you to peel away layer by layer to reveal structures beneath the surface. We can select a module and then we can select our topic and using our layering options, we can remove and dissect by layer. To the left, users can generate a link to this custom view you have created. Users can also view animations as well as histology by selecting a topic and also imaging and the comprehensive quiz. These quiz results can be saved and shared. Also under the multimedia tool, these interactive modules are derived from Bruckner and Kahn's Clinical Sports Medicine 4th edition. Through these videos, quizzes, images, and interactive elements, users will learn some of the clinical approaches to assessment and techniques for managing common injuries and pain. To reiterate, all multimedia items in Access Physiotherapy are durable URL enabled, making it easy to integrate these resources with your LMS and into your courses. Under our Cases tab, we provide materials for short, targeted case-based learning that require students to think critically about the content. They'll vary slightly, but for each case, you'll get, a, you'll get a patient history, an overview, a systems review, short answer, open-ended questions, clinical pearls, and a comprehensive quiz. We provide cases in these different categories and based off of different text resources, including clinical neuroanatomy cases, based off of the Clinical Neuroanatomy textbook by Stephen Waxman, as well as cases that concern ethics and physical therapy based off of that text that we saw earlier. We also have prosthetics and orthotics cases and orthopedic case studies, and several cases from this case file series in physical therapy, including for acute care, neurological rehabilitation, orthopedics, pediatrics, and sports. These case files cases, you'll notice, are by default presented as topic. We can also switch to view them by case number as a way to challenge ourselves. And the case key out to the right will indicate completed, viewed, and unopened cases. 
Also, these cases are all durable URL enabled, so an instructor can simply copy the browser URL on any case and embed that in their LMS. Students can work through the case and also email their results of their case quiz, making it easy for instructors to integrate our case-based resources into their courses. In the first tab here on this case overview, the user receives an introduction to the case, as well as some open-ended questions and key clinical definitions, objectives. There are also physical therapy considerations, more information about the health condition, the exam, possible interventions, evidence-based care information, a Q&A, and as users work through the quiz, they can submit and view the answer as they go or see their answers at the end. They are provided with short answer explanations to help reinforce learning. These quizzes can be retaken and the results can be emailed. This is a great way to collect a case quiz for a grade. And finally, also a series of references to further reinforce learning. And the cases here are peer reviewed. Also, these therapeutic modalities cases are based off of the therapeutic modalities text by William Prentiss. From this page, you can also link back to the book or to the review questions on therapeutic modalities, which also can be found under the Study Tools tab by selecting Review Questions. This part of the site offers users some great review texts with thousands of Q&A options to help them prepare for boards and examinations, including the NPTE. Users can generate review questions from all of these available texts, including random and custom quizzes. As an example, Basic Biomechanics. Users can generate a random or custom quiz for any, from any of these available areas, which really helps the user to target any weaknesses. And these quizzes also will provide in the results short answer explanations to reinforce learning and help mastery concepts, whether answered correctly or incorrectly. Also under the Study Tools tab is this simulated NPTE exam. This exam is broken out into these different sections each with a quiz in those areas that is meant to simulate the experience on the NPTE. And finally, the NPTE Review Prep tab provides users with all of the content that is on Access Physiotherapy that is the most relevant for study and success in preparing for this exam. It includes this National Physical Therapy Examination and Board Review text, as well as the online simulated NPTE exam and further reading suggestions along the bottom that are really targeted towards success on this exam. And that will conclude our look at Access Physiotherapy. In the upper left, I'm going to select the McGraw-Hill Medical drop-down menu and navigate now to F.A. Davis Physical Therapy Collection. This site is a great physical therapy resource that, co that covers the entire spectrum of physical therapy. It gives educators the tools that they need to train the next generation of physical therapists just like Access Physiotherapy, the content here is mobile optimized for viewing on any device. And you'll notice that the layout is similar here on the home page. We can see our tabs across the top, the search layer, which also works the same as we saw in Access Physiotherapy. There are a series of tiles that are updated regularly, highlighting any new updated or supplemental content from the site. Also, a snapshot of your MyAccess profile, popular chapters, and new content on the site. In the Books tab, you'll notice again these resources are organized into various categories in the table on the left. F.A. Davis PT Collection includes several noteworthy titles, including Physical Rehabilitation from O'Sullivan and Brunstrom's Clinical Kinesiology, 6th edition. The O'Sullivan text is a curriculum-spanning text and reference. You'll find everything you need to know about the rehabilitation management of adult patients, from integrating basic surgical, medical, and therapeutic interventions, to how to select the most appropriate evaluation procedures, develop rehabilitation goals, and implement a treatment plan. In the online text here, you'll find narrated full-color video clips of patients in treatment, including the initial examination, interventions, and outcomes for a variety of the conditions commonly seen 
in rehabilitation settings. This text includes more than 60 narrated full-color video clips of patients in these rehabilitation settings. It also incorporates current research in basic and clinical sciences with, with physical therapy assessments and treatment procedures. It includes evidence summary tables in most chapters, which evaluate current research on topics and support evidence-based care. This text enhances critical thinking skills with open-ended clinical case studies. It covers strategies for fall prevention, virtual reality rehabilitation, body weight treadmill training, and upper extremity amputations and prosthetics. It integrates the goals, examination procedures, and interventions of the APTA's Guide to Physical Therapist Practice. Back in our Books tab, Brunstrom's Clinical Kinesiology is now celebrating its 50 years in print. This text has held on to the foundations of its great success while also being reinvented for today's audience. The focus of this text remains the practical instruction of functional anatomy in order to quickly and convincingly guide readers to its use in professional performance. This text is filled with modern applications that will show your students the relevance of foundational material to their future careers. An all new author team of expert instructors, Peggy Huglum and Dolores Bertotti, a brand new full color design and new learning and teaching resources online at Davis Plus all make this field's gold standard text more valuable than ever as it prepares your readers to apply theory to clinical practice. Some of the key features include its links to theoretical concepts, to the, to the practical applications with practice point boxes, examines the properties of bone, cartilage, ligaments, and fascia, emphasizes the kinesiologic issue best illustrated for each region of the body, and also discusses joints, ligaments, infeels, accessory joint motion, the innervation and anatomical actions of muscles, and applications of mechanical and physiological principles. Under the Quick Reference tab, we have access again to clinical information great for residents and clinical trainees as well as practicing providers with easy to access quick lookup information, including these Davis notes. These are some of our easy access clinical pocket guides in a few of these different areas. Also, the Tabor's Medical Dictionary. This dictionary provides more than 65,000 definitions, 32,000 audio pronunciations, 1,200 images, and 120 videos. It is browsable alphabetically and searchable. Also under quick reference, the Rehabilitation Specialist's Handbook is a collection of frequently used, though rarely memorized, information organized for easy reference. It covers a breadth of topics from the full range of basic scientific information, such as neuroanatomy, clinical orthopedics, and general anatomy, to the treatments and methods used in modern rehabilitation practice. Under the Drugs tab, users have access to the Davis's Drug Guide for Rehabilitation Professionals. This is also searchable and browsable alphabetically. This guide is intended to provide rehabilitation specialists with an up-to-date and easy-to-use resource about specific medications. This guide consists of an alphabetical listing of more than 850 drug monographs that contain pertinent information about each drug. And in the Multimedia tab, Users have access to an extensive video library. It's a robust library of over 400 videos from leaders in the physical therapy field. These videos are designed to teach exercise and rehabilitation techniques, kinetics, and physical therapy interventions. These videos are organized in the table to the left. These videos are excellent for online learning where these concepts can be seen in practice with these trusted, high-quality videos. The Cases tab provides users cases in several different areas, including physical and neurological rehabilitation, modalities, wound healing, diagnosis, pharmacology, communication, imaging, vestibular rehabilitation, and more. Again, all the cases will vary slightly in terms of what is offered in each case. Here we see a case study, but other cases may show different information. For example, the wound healing cases include the case study as well as clinical points. And finally, I would like to show you the F.A. Davis Athletic Training Collection. To reiterate, all textbooks 
multimedia, and cases in the FA Davis sites are also all durable URL enabled, the same as we saw with Access Physiotherapy earlier in this session. Users will notice a very similar layout again to this site as we have seen in the previous sites. In the Books tab, users can access a series of textbooks organized in the table to the left, including this Orthopedic Athletic Injury Examination Handbook. This is a step-by-step -step guide on the evaluation and initial management of specific orthopedic and athletic injuries from evaluative procedures for palpation and range of motion through neurologic, ligamentous, and special tests. Everything you need now in the lab and later in the field or in the clinic is here in this textbook. It's a terrific preparation tool for the BOC examination as well. Athletic trainers and physical therapists will find this on the field or in the clinic handbook, a useful reference with clear explanations and diagrams. Some of its key features include that it covers procedures for over 185 special neurological, ligamentous, and range of motion tests. It features unique palpation photographs with anatomical overlays to identify the underlying structures. It provides precisely illustrated step-by-step -step instructions for the correct position of patient and examiner, the evaluative procedure, positive test results and implications. It accesses the reliability of each test with grades that show the level of support from the available evidence. It includes tables of bony landmarks and other useful aids for identifying postural disorders. And it also helps to illustrate proper measuring techniques. Another textbook to point out can be found under the Therapeutic Modalities and Exercise tab, and that is the Therapeutic Exercise Foundations and Techniques textbook. This is a premier text for therapeutic exercise. Here is all the guidance you need to customize interventions for individuals with movement dysfunction. You'll find the perfect balance of theory and clinical technique, in-depth discussions of the principles of therapeutic exercise and manual therapy, and the most up-to-date exercise and management guidelines. This textbook also includes videos seen in this features tool out to the right. This book really is a must-have for any orthopedic physical therapist, and now it is even better with ICF information, that is International Classification of Functioning, Disability, and Health, which is a framework for describing functioning and disability in relation to a health condition. Some of its key features Includes superb artwork, including anatomical illustrations, line drawings, photographs, radiographs. It also has a focus on evidence boxes, summarizing current literature. It has management guidelines boxes, tables for pathology and surgical procedure, as well as preferred practice pattern. Post-surgery outcome boxes, clinical examples throughout, case studies at the end of selected chapters, clinical laboratory activities and questions for critical thinking and discussions at the end of every chapter. Under the multimedia tab, users once again have access to a very large video library. You can see all of the videos that are provided in these different areas, including sports nutrition, taping and wrapping and bracing, therapeutic exercise, medical terminology, and more. These procedural and conceptual videos here are student friendly in their length and cover these multiple professional areas to really help bring to life some of the concepts learned in more traditional learning modes. And under the Cases tab, users have access to modalities and pharmacology cases, and these are great for students and those seeking self-assessment with these real-life patient scenarios, especially during this time when learning has a greater online presence. And finally, I'd like to conclude this session by taking a look at the User Resources tab here at the top under the Support drop-down menu. By selecting User Resources, we are taken to a separate website. This is called the Access User Center. This is where we make all of our user helps and videos and user guides available to you for greater engagement with Access Physiotherapy or any of the other Access Medical collections in your subscriptions. You can use the menu to the left to navigate by specific medical products, including Access Physiotherapy or the F.A. Davis sites. And here's where we have customized all of our resources and supports made available to you. We have a brief overview of every site in the Access Medical Collection, should you wish 
to review anything that we have gone over today. There's also information here on the anatomy and physiology reveal tool that we saw earlier, a more in-depth short video of using that tool, how to create and affiliate your MyAccess profile, more information about using digital tools for anatomy and physiology learning, distance learning, our online user guide, and much more. Also, please take a look at our content maps. These content maps have been developed by our subject matter experts, and they are mapped to all of the different programmatic and accrediting standards for different fields, including our Doctor of Physical Therapy program content map, as well as a Physical Therapy Assistant content map. And here you can view or download this document that maps all of the different standard requirements and the corresponding McGraw-Hill resources and where those resources are located in the McGraw-Hill sites, making it really easy for instructors to integrate our sites and our collections into their courses and into their program curricula. Back on the Access User Center, also, please feel free to sign up for any of our future or past training webinars. You can view our archived webinars. And finally, under the Contact Us page, you can see our contact information should you have any questions. The best way to reach us is to email user services. I'm highlighting the email address on screen. That is userservices at mheducation.com. I'd like to thank you for attending today's session. We would also love to gain your feedback on this session, so please take a moment to fill out the brief survey that will appear after we disconnect. If there are any remaining questions in the chat box, we will work to get to those or we'll follow up with you in a separate email. I'd like to thank you all again for attending today. Stay safe and healthy. Have a great day.